Is there any advice that you have for others that may want to try comedy out? They've seen you on America's Got Talent and they say, wow, like, we've always wanted to try this, but we're shy or we're nervous. Like, what would you, if you could look into the camera and say, like, what would you say to them? Hey everybody, Jay Son here with SinCityTimes.com. I've got the amazingly funny from America's Got Talent, Vicki Barbalock. Hey everybody, Woo! so excited to be here. Well, thank you so much for inviting us out to your dressing room. I see you're already for us on the casting couch. Yep, just lay down. You know, there's been a million, I've, like, I've walked into like different producers and I throw myself down on the couch and they're like, no Vicki, no, no, this is an $1,100 couch, get up. Well this, this seen, couch has seen better days. It has seen better days. This couch is a Craigslist reject. Craigslist has standard. What was the one thing that changed the most that you were like, wow, I did that was like the surprising thing that happened after America's Got Talent? Well, to be truly honest, I mean, I'm 60 years old. And, you know, there's, there's just a big push to put women out to pasture when they're 12, you know, because you, you expire quickly yeah. after that. And so I've, I've been struggling, you know, just trying to, you know, get anybody to notice me. But I started when I was 40, and I, I've worked, I love stand-up, and I, I got, you know, I, Steve Martin said, get so good they can't ignore you, and then I started thinking, maybe Steve Martin was wrong, <laughs> and, uh, but it didn't matter, because I just loved doing it. But this kind of, this, this show goes around the industry. It goes right to America. Oh, yeah. And then America doesn't care how old you are. So that's they, just want, they just want to laugh. Right. And, and so, you made everybody laugh, I, which is amazing. It's I'm crazy so to see you. It's been, you know, I, I, don't, I, I couldn't have dreamed of it. I couldn't have thought it up, but it, it's been amazing. Awesome. It's only been five weeks since the show, but a whole bunch of people have reached out to me, and I got, I've got, i gotten some offers already, and then and, um, I think something is going to happen that way. Like that. Could we possibly see you as like, um, as I see Roseanne in the in the background? We don't want to talk about her too much, but could we see you maybe as an as an aunt or a or a no, neighbor on the no, corners? No, 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 never, never. Why not? Because that's her energy and that's her world, and I respect her for it. And I, I wrote for Roseanne, and right. she was always really good to me. And I'm super sorry about what's going on now for her. And how do you do? You think that she can overcome that? Do you think she will, or do you think she's? How can we not that? think that anybody can overcome anything? You know, I mean, who can say what somebody can do or not do? You make jokes about finding the comedy school flyer in a trash can in yeah, a bathroom. For Is real. that a real story? In my bathroom, it was sticking out of the trash can. It was Sandy Shore's comedy class, and Sandy Shore just passed away a couple of weeks ago. Here, she was like the first person that ever really believed in me that I was I had any gift of any of any sort. She just she right away went. I think you could be really funny, and nobody ever said anything like that to me. I mean, I knew I was funny as a kid, and I've always made people laugh, but for somebody to say it in a professional way, I think you might have something here, it meant everything to me. And then, you know, just be, when you are becoming a com comedian, you have to get to know yourself. You have to bear down to the bones, or you're not oh, yeah. going to be able to be real for the audience. You've got to be able to make fun of yourself and for real. know the real you yes. to make the audience laugh. Yeah. Is there any advice that you have for others that may want to try comedy out? They've seen you on America's Got Talent and they say, wow, like, we've always wanted to try this, but we're shy or we're nervous. Like, what would you, if you could look into the camera and say, like, what would you say to them? Okay, if you want to do stand up comedy, the coolest thing about comedy is, unlike music where you actually have to know how to play an instrument, I mean, all you have to do is have a thought and a mouth and a microphone. Can you tell us about a AGT Live coming up here in November? And you're going to be a part of that, correct? The AGT Live show in Las yes. Vegas at the Paris. Yes. Yeah, apparently uh, they couldn't get anyone else because they're having me in it. <laughs> like, you know. But yeah, that's going to be super fun. I am so excited about what I'm going to be doing in that show. I always wanted to be a showgirl, and I asked him if I could be a showgirl. Oh my god, that's amazing. Can I say that? I'm I know, I'm like, are we allowed to tell that out? Can we the... say it? I'm going to be a showgirl. Oh, I'm going to be a show... headdress, fan, choreography. Oh my god, I need to come. Completely People are going to be so hurt. Awful. <laughs> People are gonna be hurt. And what's your website for everybody out there? Vicky at comedy.com.
And that's a wrap on this episode of Sin City Time. With us, Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much for being a supportive of the LGBT community. Of course. We love you Thank and you. congratulations on all the Thank success. Thank you so much.